astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here is your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, September 18th to Monday, September 25th, 2017. Now, what is going on this week for you, Libra, is we've got Venus finishing out right here in your 11th house of your goals and of your future and of where you see your life going, also of group associations in some way, okay? Now, this isn't a new focus for you. It's been a focus for a while because we had the eclipse here. We also had like every other planet, almost every other fast moving planet moved through this spot in the past few weeks as well. So I think you're really just trying to make sure that you figure out your goals, you figure out your life direction, you figure out where you see your life going before it is that you can really begin to move forward. All right. I think a lot of unexpected things are going to come up too and have come up as well about some of your goals and about where you see your life going. That for you has a lot to do with other people, partnerships, all right, because we still do have Venus here in your 11th in a trine here with Uranus. So other people pulling some weird moves on you, doing some weird things um, about where you see your life going and what you want to do in life in that way and really having to figure out how to take these unusual things maybe that other people are doing that you weren't expecting or unexpected relationship issues and really trying to figure out how you can take that and maneuver it into a goal or into some kind of dream or ambition or direction that you think is better for you in some way. I think that is what you're trying to figure out here. And I think with Venus in the spot being the last planet, it's just the last unexpected thing that's going to come up that you have to deal with before you can really push through it and move forward. Okay. The thing you're going to have to work on after this unexpected thing comes up though, is how to be more comfortable with it inside you and to make sense of it internally because Venus is going to move into your 12th house here of your insides and of your spirituality and just what you're feeling uh, internally. Um, and I think you're going to have to figure out how do I take these unexpected things that people are doing and be comfortable with it and make sense of it and feel okay doing it uh, in the right way ways so that you can kind of create some kind of new you eventually and and move forward okay i think that's going to be a big thing for you this week and as we move forward the next three weeks is really just trying to figure out who you are on the inside and who you want to be and giving birth perhaps to a new identity in some way um, and to really refresh your life and renew your perspective and your lease on life that's because you do have a new moon here at the very last degrees uh, excuse me, you do have a new moon here at the very last degrees of um, Virgo, bringing up, in, which is in your 12th house, really wanting you to create some kind of new identity in some way, to be a new person, to have some kind of new perspective on life as well, really bringing that into focus so that you can just create a life that is just better for you. I think it may be a little bit hard for you though to feel comfortable internally with what is happening in your life and with what is going on though, because this new moon is going to oppose Chiron in your sixth house of job. So maybe you don't have the job you want. Maybe there's something very hurtful for you at work, at job, in your daily routines and the things you do on the day to day. And you're having to figure out how you can get over this uncomfortable thing about your job so that you can be more comfortable internally and in who you are and in what you want. Maybe it means accepting a job that you don't like and having to get comfortable with that. Or maybe it means changing a job that you have so that you can then live more of a life that resonates more truly with you. Something along those lines you're going to have to figure out. Okay, and work out your daily routines. There could also be some confusion as well about your job and daily routines too, because we do have Mercury and Mars here in your 12th and in opposition with Neptune in your 6th. So really having to break through some confusion about what kind of job you want, about what kind of daily routines you want, about how you want to perhaps interact with people externally, having to break through some of that so you can really live a life that is just more comfortable to you and resonates more with your heart and, and what you want. I think that's just a huge thing thing for you this week while you're dealing with all these confusion and all this hurt hurt stuff about your external life and your external reality and what is happening inside you i think there could be some very strong feelings that are going to come up as well right here which you're going to have to do with your home and your family Okay, that's because we do have Mercury in your 12th in a trine with Pluto here in your fourth. I think you're going to have to figure out how can you create something that's solid and that's stable that really resonates with you internally and who you are and what you want and makes you comfortable. Okay, this could be a, a good thing. I say strong feelings because it can go either way with Pluto, especially. It can be a good thing where you're feeling finally like, you know what? I think I kind of got it. I think I'm creating a life that works for me that I feel good at. Or it can be the opposite where you're like, oh no, like I really need to make this thing happen. I really need 
to work better with home and family, have more stability and feeling like it is not there yet and you don't feel quite right with all of that. So I think you're gonna have to watch some of those big feelings that can come up to make sure that you're thinking about it in the right way and that you're staying balanced as you move forward. After these strong feelings come up though, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of communication happening about what's going on inside you and about how you feel and um, what's important to you because we do have Mercury as well in a square with Saturn in your third house of communication. So I don't think this communication is gonna be easy. I think it may be a little bit hard. I think it may be a little bit uncomfortable, but you really having to communicate about the uncomfortable things that if they're important to you and about what it is that you feel deep down inside in some ways and I think you've got to learn how to talk about it in the right ways okay that makes sense and it doesn't make things worse you're a Libra so you should be naturally gifted at talking to people and understanding other people too so I think you should be fine but you just have to make sure that you're able to communicate in the right ways with some people about some things that are going on with you inside about where your life is going that are important to you while that's coming up there's also Jupiter here in your first house I think you want want to have a better life you want to do things that are important to you that are better for you that really resonate more truly with your heart but having to deal with some unexpected things still from people and balance what is going on with other people and how you relate to other people and trying to get the balance in your relationships just right so that they understand what is going on with you so that you understand what is going on with them too and that could be a little bit hard because you want all these good things to happen to you you want to you know feel good but maybe just other people pulling some weird stuff on you just getting real crazy um and having to deal with that okay so that is what is happening there your card for the week is the eight of swords up right this to me always comes up when you're blinding yourself you're like seeing things in the wrong ways i've been getting this card a lot lately uh for things um but you need to take the blindfold off yourself try to see things more clearly if there's something you don't understand if you feel trapped if you feel um attacked in some way try to figure out what is really going on here and how you can think about it clearly and and not be so emotional or so hurt about what is going on but to think logically and to do what needs to be done to get you to the result that you want okay so that is what i see for you today thank you so much for watching my horoscope if you like it please like it on youtube subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and i will talk to you later